Hi friends, I hope you are very well. Today I am um, I am doing a morning of short reads for the Enchanted Spring Readathon. There is a prompt which is about uh, which is about reading as many short reads as you can. So, this is dark. The locked door. England and America, 1849 to 1897. I didn't know that she had written a um, memoir. The one I knew best of all. Burnett wrote that she adored the stories in which people had parks or gardens, wow. or lived in rustic cottages, or walked in forests, or across moors, or climbed blue hills. I love it. I also love uh, books that take place in these places. Wow. Uh, I think this is Lord Flanteroy. I am... Also looking forward to read this book. It was a recommendation of Dia from the channel Novel Idea. And now I'm really looking forward to read it. Um, I don't know if you can see here. We have Frances Hudson Burnett as a young woman. Hmm. She loved love fashion and always the latest styles. Then the next chapter is Finding the Key, Mayhem Hall, Kent, 1898 to 1908. So I'm going to read that later. But I'm very glad that I, but I'm very glad that I have started this book. My next book is Icons of England. I listened to an essay about post boxes from pillar to post and I I like it very much. It was just about how the author loves pillar uh, post boxes and there are many different ones. And I also read another one about rural rights it's by Paul Atterbury. He misses rural branch lines and here he says there is no better way to travel and see the spectacular British landscape pass by the window. The Victorians did many good things for us, not least the building of a na nationwide and fully integrated railway network. By 1900, about 20,000 miles of railway linked practically every town and many villages all over Britain. So I think this is perfect for every day and I like that there are many different authors, many different writing styles. I think there is also a coffee table version of this book. I would I would have loved to, to have it mm, but I think uh, at least in this one the cover is really nice and now i'm going to pick up the secret gardens and also start this one the great british bucket list okay i want to read this one phantom house and garden london the secret wall garden is a rare gem in london it is garden of rooms and sunny terraces a garden of steps and varying levels of light and shade. A garden that feels a lot bigger than its two acres and that takes you on a satisfying journey from formality to greater and greater naturalism. So, so peaceful.
so I just read the entry about the Tower of London and I love these pages mm, and it says here what of those famous ravens one of the tower's most enduring legends is that if they disappear the town the monarchy and the country itself will be doomed hardly surprising then that there is a royal decree for keeping six and one spare under the protection of a raven master one of those yeoman warders so i'm going to listen to the audiobook of the provincial lady goes farther and i've decided to peruse this book london in bloom and uh, here it says parks and gardens floral boutiques market flowers floral displays so it's really beautiful i am going to peruse just look at the pictures and listen to the provincial lady i will report back i am going to report back very soon the provincial lady goes further by e m delafield read by georgina sutton june the 9th life takes on entirely new aspect So the provincial lady has published a book uh, in December and now the, her second diary starts on the 9th of June and she's very surprised that her book uh, has been successful and she's very happy because she needs the money and there were already some uh, funny comments about uh, Cook about her husband, about her family. Um, I am very glad that I pick it up again. Uh, I mean, the Provincial Lady series. Uh, I'm hoping that it is as funny as the first one. And I have, I had a blast uh, perusing this book. Uh, it has really many beautiful pictures. They are really joyful. I love it. I am considering um, getting the other ones in the in this series it says here explore the blooming delights of the english capital london in bloom offers an irresistible unique view of the city i love it ah there is paris in bloom and new york in bloom yeah so i think this was a successful morning i enjoy perusing the books uh, reading some short reads and I am looking forward to more I would love to hear if you have found some uh, nice reads uh, in May and if you can recommend uh, to me some short stories or any kind of um, short reads or graphic novels thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be seeing you very soon with another bookish video bye